to the girl I love and lost forever. I woke up yesterday from a dream that we were lying in bed together on some lazy Saturday morning like we used to love doing, waking up and hugging you like if it was the first time, and looking into your eyes I would say, have I ever told you how amazingly beautiful you are just to bring a smile to your face by saying that. I'm so lucky to have you by my side. I love you so much. I could almost smell your skin and feel the warmth of your naked body. A kind smile until I woke up and you weren't there beside me. Your absence from my bed served as a painful and palpable reminder that you are gone. I know we are not taking right now. But it's late on the day that I start my new life and I can't sleep. I can't sleep because I'm going to be doing it all alone. In a few hours, I'll wake up, shower, make coffee and go to my new zone. Knowing that when I get home, I won't be opening a bottle of wine and telling you how it went. Instead, I'll be eating cereal by myself while feeling the full weight of the reality that the only person I can't talk to. I've been a total train wreck in the way of our separation, a catastrophe of self-loathing and loneliness that I wasn't even aware I was capable of feeling until I was sitting down outside and started crying so hard that I couldn't breathe. The day we broke up, my world came crashing down on my feet like never before. I felt meaningless, didn't know what to do, where to go, what to believe anymore. Consequently, my room is now littered with piles of miscellaneous items constantly, reminding me that even though you are gone, you are never going to be too far from my mind. I confess that sometimes I still take this bit shirt you used to use when you stayed with me, just to see if I can feel your sin and stop pretending to be okay. In the weeks that you've been gone, I've started the process of organizing my life without you in it. Awkwardly filling the gaps you once occupied with new activities, old acquaintances, scrappy movies, and more ice cream than I would care to admit. Despite of all of my efforts to charge ahead and leave you behind, I keep thinking that with enough time you will change your mind, that you will realize you made a mistake, that you want me back, that you want to be us again, that you still love me. I keep thinking you'll change your mind. And once again see me as the person standing next to you on your wedding day, as the person sitting on the couch with you after we had dinner. I keep thinking that you'll simply change your mind and come back to me, but I don't want you to change your mind. I want you to make up your mind. I want you to make up your mind that it is me, that I wasn't wrong to love you so deeply and believe you when you said you wanted to spend your life with me. I want you to make up your mind that while, yes, there are tens and hundreds or thousands of women that you could be with who might be fun, exciting, good in bed, that I am the only one you truly love. I want you to make up your mind that the person who makes you happiest and makes your life feel worth living is me. But I don't know when or if that will happen and that's the most painful part of all of this. The possibility that the love of your life may just simply not be me. Either way, I'm going to start my new job tomorrow and I'm nervous. You are the one person who knows how to calm me down and tomorrow I'll be leaving my apartment without you telling me that I can do it. That I'm going to be great that I shouldn't be scared and that you can't wait to hear all about it tonight. I'll go through each and every day putting one foot in front of the other while working hard to convince everyone that I am fine, knowing that you are somewhere else, doing something else with someone else. I will put you out of my mind and simply carry on. Until I see your favorite coffee at the coffee shop, until my phone vibrates, until that song comes on, until I have to go to sleep, until I fall apart, 
and have to start all over again without you.